Jack is Yujiro's unwanted son. And although for the fans of the series, Jack is one of the most beloved characters. For Yujiro, he is nothing but a big mistake. Yujiro has eyes for no one but Baki. In fact, he has said so himself on multiple occasions. The ogre has confessed that he thinks about Baki all day long. He has even said that he is the only person he has ever fallen in love with in his entire life. On the other hand, Jack is nothing but a waste to him. In fact, in a conversation he had with Tokogawa, Yujiro tells the old man that Jack's blood is impure, and that is why he cannot be compared to Baki. So, after analyzing it, I couldn't help but wonder if Yujiro really hates Jack, or if he is so insignificant to him, that he wouldn't even bother to end his life once and for all. Let's see the first time Jack introduces himself as Yujiro's son. Yujiro seems to get excited to hear it. In fact, when Jack challenges Yujiro, Baki gets angry and tells him that he is no one to challenge the strongest creature on Earth. At that moment, Yujiro punches Baki and tells him that it is just the opposite. Jack is the one who has the most right to challenge him. Here we can see that Yujiro was really excited and somewhat happy to learn that another son of his blood had appeared to challenge him. The ogre was interested to know if Jack could surpass Baki. At the end of the maximum tournament, Jack loses to Baki, but despite this he has not given up his desire to take revenge on his father. Later, Jack meets Yujiro and tries to challenge him in the corridors of the underground arena. The ogre is very disappointed and one might even say humiliated. Yujiro is humiliated to learn that someone who carries Hama blood, his blood, has had to resort to illegal substances to become stronger. Yujiro is a purist, and to him there is no greater insult than using illegal substances to get stronger. He tells Jack to get out of his sight. For him, he is no one anymore. But despite that Jack pounces on him and bites him on the neck, clearly Jack was weakened, and his bite didn't have the desired effect. This useless attack was a new insult to Yujiro. Jack was practically weak and had lost all his muscle mass, but he still thought he could take on the ogre. Yujiro knocked him out with no trouble, and although he could, he didn't finish him off. In fact, Yujiro was very merciful, because he even left him a piece of advice. He told him to try to bite the karate directly next time. And as we saw recently, it seems that Jack followed this advice to the letter, because in his last fight he hit his opponent in the karate, and this was enough for him to take the victory. After the ultimate tournament, Yujiro and Jack have few interactions. On one occasion, all the fighters gathered to challenge the prehistoric caveman Pickle. Among them was Jack. When Yujiro appears on the scene, he says, Oh, looks like all the losers have gathered. Among them was Jack who couldn't even respond to that insult. Then, in the father and son arc, we can see Jack at home as he watches the fight between Baki and Yujiro. Jack feels helplessness and envy as he sees that Baki is doing what he is not even close to achieving. All he can do is cry and say that he will become stronger. This is a turning point for the character because for the first time he calls Yujiro his father. These words come from the bottom of his heart and are full of hatred and resentment. Let's be honest, somewhere in the corner of his heart Jack would have also wanted to receive those pats Yujiro gave Baki on the back. Obviously, Jack wasn't going to forgive the ogre, but an apology wasn't far from his imagination. Now the question is whether these two hate each other. To be honest, I think Jack does hate Yujiro from the bottom of his heart. Come on, this guy doesn't mind shortening his life by using harmful substances. If it's to make himself stronger so he can defeat his father, Jack won't mind living only one year. Jack really hates Yujiro for the way he humiliated and used his mother. The biting cyborg's only purpose is to live to take the life of the man who ruined his mother's life. Now, I don't think Yujiro really hates Jack. What the ogre feels is more like a great disappointment for Jack. As we'd have already seen, at the beginning of the series, the ogre was excited to see what Jack was made of. However, when he saw that he was nothing without the chemicals, he felt great rejection and shame. The dislike Yujiro developed for Jack was such that after that moment, he stopped seeing him as a son and a possible opponent. The knowledge that Jack had contaminated his own ham of blood with chemicals brought great disgust to the ogre. In conclusion, what Yujiro feels for Jack is nothing but rejection and disappointment. So, unless Jack does something big to earn his father's respect, his father will never look favorably on him again. And here comes the interesting part because in chapter 100, 
and 22 of Baki Do. Jack challenged all the underground arena fighters to a kind of tournament. In this tournament, they will all face him. Jack challenged men like Baki, Dopo, Katsumi, and Shibakawa, among many more. Let's not rule out that men like Oliva Biscuit or Hanayama may join the tournament. To me, this is Jack's way of trying to get his father's attention again. Defeating all these great fighters, including Baki, would put him squarely in Ujiro's top challengers. Let's remember that men like Hanayama, Dopo, and Oliva Biscuit have earned the ogre's respect. So if Jack manages to defeat several of these guys, it wouldn't be surprising if Yujiro sets his sights on him again. There is still a long way to go before Jack's art begins in Bakido. So for the time being, we can only try to guess what will happen. But well, this is just my opinion. Don't forget to leave me yours in the comment box. And well, friends, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you liked it. I hope you have a nice day or night. See you soon. Fight, get some on your face, keep a yard, get some